Now y'all know a lot of us have loved ones, people that we really care deeply for. Some of you have people that are considered friends and family that you would do anything for. There's a great love there, there's a deep love there. This song that we're about to sing says, Lord, I love you more than anything. And I don't want us to just sing this this morning. I really want us to get to a place where we can say, you know, I love my son and I love my daughter and I love my husband or my wife or I love my friend. We've been friends forever. But Lord, if it came down to it, hallelujah, I choose you. And I want us to sing and to worship from that place this morning, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. And if we're not there right now, hopefully we can get there by the end of the song. Let's declare it this morning, hallelujah. Come on, y'all say. I lift, I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. to say that I love you more than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to I say. just want to say that I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. Let's sing that again. Say I live. I lift my hands and toes. Say you're in charge, you reign. You reign on the throne. For you are God. For you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I hear you, I hear you. I can sing to you this song. I hear your heart singing this. I just want to say that I.
anything, more than anything. And why should we feel comfortable doing that? Because he gave his life for you. And he says that the plans that he has for you are to prosper you and to give you a hope and a future. Because he says, lo, I'm with you always, even unto the world. Why should we feel comfortable doing this? Because his plan is greater than we could ever plan out ourselves or imagine. Hallelujah. One more time, let's say it together. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you more than Hallelujah.